Madam Deputy Speaker, when I was a teenager, I travelled in what we still thought of as Eastern Europe. And I remember being struck even then by the paradox that here was a system that nobody believed in. Even the people running it no longer professed, if ever they had, the principles of Marxism-Leninism. And yet one couldn't see how it was going to end because so many people had a vested interest in the maintenance of the status quo. I had an eerie sense of nostalgia as I listened to the debate this morning. One by one, the pillars that sustained the European ideal have been kicked away. And yet we continue to tell ourselves that the answer is more integration, more Europe, monetary, fiscal union, common economic governance, and so on. The Schengen Treaty is collapsing as governments begin to reimpose border controls. Now the euro is also showing itself to be unsustainable. And yet the apparat of Europe in this house and in the palaces and chancelleries of the continent continues to trot out the same slogans about ever closer union, not to convince the voters, not even really to convince themselves, not anymore, but simply because they don't know what else to do.